Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And when we last left off, we met the Crimps in Sasau Monastery. Well, not the monastery, but the little church uh, over yonder. And we found out uh, exactly what they want us to do. We have to infiltrate the Sasau Monastery over there in that direction. It's the dreaded Monastery Quest. And I've heard a lot of things about this quest. Uh, but one thing that we can do before we jump right in is speak with Sir Radzik and let him know what the bandits want us to do. And I'm sure it's just going to be a, well, why don't you do it, Henry? Um, you have to do what you have to do, and that's important information. But I still want to see uh, Sir Radzig's um, opinion on the situation. And then we got to come back here and find the, the guy who is slated to become a monk, and he doesn't really want to. We can get the letter from him and waltz right on in. So I will journey back to Sir Radzig and be right back with you. All right, pulling up to the Rate Lower Castle. There's Sir Radzig there. Hey, Sir Radzig, I must speak with you about the... The uh, be praised. What brings you to me? You'll never believe what I'm going to uh, have to do here. So, this investigation into the Neuhof massacre is getting a bit complicated. And Avril what Levine is nowhere that? to be seen. I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Pribislavitz. They know the Horsons who torched Neuhof. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? Oh, yes, indeed. So far, not much. Oh, sorry. No, nope, not if much. If I'm going to infiltrate them, I have to do what they say. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was at Neuhof, too. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them? Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. I don't either. That's not the worst of it. This Pius is hiding out in the monastery pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get inside the cloisters to get at him. <laughs> Good God above, that's another matter entirely. I was saying the same thing. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. But this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. That's not what I thought you would say. All right, uh... What is to be done with Pius once I what find him? What should I do him? with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a fair trial. It doesn't sound like an easy task, sir. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius, and then getting him to the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your ability. Yeah, that's pretty much what I it thought you would like say. The only way to find Pius is to join the order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning would do you good. If it's really the only way to get to him, then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations with the monastery aren't entirely congenial. You'll have to figure something out for yourself. Yeah, that's what I thought you would say. So, much like I thought, Sir Azik basically just said, Yeah, that is what you have to do. Which isn't very much help to us. Uh, let's take a look at the time here. I've got some time before the shops close to do uh, some extra business, uh, sell some things, buy some things, Actually, I don't even think I need to buy anything because the they'll doing? take everything I have from me. So, seems pretty straightforward. So what I'll do is I'll ride back to Sasau, rent a room, and dump all of my stuff um, in that uh, that chest in, in, the, in the inn so I can get it when I come back. They're not taking that crap from me. All right, so a bit of a, a wash for sure, but... I, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to miss anything. So I will go ahead and ride back to Sasau and see you in just a moment. All right, pulling up to the Sasau Inn. Um, we're looking for the guy who doesn't want to join the cloister. I imagine he's going to be named Vitus. Are you the guy? Jesus Christ be praised. Indeed. Are you the guy? Are you Carl? You be Carl oh, okay. By so we're looking for a no. Carl. Ale, all right. Fair enough, there, yeah. Vitus. I'm Enjoy. looking for a Carl. All right. All right. Now, if I had to make a guess, he's going to be inside. Pour me an ale. Oh, there's Carl. God be with you. And you too, Carl. You're Are Carl. You Carl, by any chance? I am. Why do you ask? I've heard that you're bound for the monastery. Indeed. 
Yes, yes, it's true. But I've convinced my faithful guardian, Manfred, to give me a few more days of freedom. Mind you, he won't let me visit the brothel. That's so a shame. instead, I'm devoting those days to the demon drink. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Henry. Pleased to meet you, Henry. And you too, Carl. I need that letter. Uh, what if I entered the monastery instead of you? What if I entered the monastery instead of you? I would give you your weight in gold, if I had any. Manfred there, my guardian angel and caretaker, has all the coin. But he never takes so much as a single step away from me. Well, if we're going to have to fix me, that, me. aren't we? Um, he's been listening to us the entire time. Indeed. So what? Listen, friends, let's raise a glass. Manfred here is a sleepy old goat. We can talk once he dozes off. All right, that sounds like... Get rid of him for me any way you can. Yeah, we can do that. Get rid of the Guardian so you can speak with Carl in private. Hello, Guardian Manfred. Good day. Do you day. care for a nap, good sir? You're Manfred, the young Lord's Guardian. Indeed I am. Why? All right, so... Care for a drink might work. You must yeah. have a mighty thirst. A Waiting here with him for days, just watching get him get drunk, right and not having a sip yourself. There's no doubt I'd enjoy a drink. Heaven knows I deserve it. But if I dull my senses in the slightest, that rogue will surely get up to mischief. That's so the let's plan. Drink I mean, yes, let's and drink. And if you start to feel unwell, I'll keep an eye on him. Like you said, you deserve some fun. I can nice. see you're a reliable lad. So what shall we have to drink? And while we're at it, why not have a little game? Uh, play dice. <laughs> All right, yeah, we will use our Holy Trinity die. Seems good. And we have to get to 3,000 points instead. Oh, I like that five. Two fives and three threes, yes, indeed. We will score and pass that. 400 points, good sir. All right, what do you have for me? Just one five, bust out there, Manfred. What the hell's with these I dice? called it. Now, if this Holy Trinity die keeps working in our favor, My pleasure. well, I mean, it, it kind of looked okay. We only have one scoring dice. We're going to roll again. Come on, we need some... Well, there's some ones there. I do I do like those ones. Uh, yeah, that's 250. We could afford to roll again, I think. Holy Trinity die, do your worst. Yeah, we'll, we'll take those. Scoring past that for 800 points. Somebody's losing. Here's oh, good lord. Harvest. Well, That's it. yeah, if somebody's losing and it's us, unless he busts out here, that'd be hilarious. But of course he's not going to do that. Mm. One thing I noticed about this dice game is the AI just keeps on going. They, they really don't no, have you. a filter. Well, I say that and he stops at 1,400 points. Come on, we need some good rolls, man. We have a one. All right, we'll score and roll again. We need some four of a kind ones. Oh, there's three ones. We will definitely take that. There's a thousand points. Score and pass that one, good sir. I'm still winning. Yeah, normally these games are to 2,000, so I would only need like a one on the next roll to win. But Manfred is going to keep it interesting, it looks like. We're tied at this point if he doesn't bust out. God's oh, he did. That's right. Now, I wonder if I beat him in a dice game would... Really? <laughs> we couldn't score one scoring die with a full cup. We'll see. That is crazy, I'd say. Come on, Manfred. I need you to bust out, good sir. Not rolling fives and ones, you don't. We're still leading, though, which is fine and dandy. Damn. Oh, nice. That's what you get, Manfred. All right, here we go. Well, I see a one already, and that's really all we have. All right, score and roll again. 100 points ain't going to do us much. Uh, there's two more ones. We'll play it conservative. We'll, we'll score those dice and roll again. Now we only need 800 points here. So he's holding his one that's and two old. fives. That's a... That's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Oh, nice. Three ones. 
Yeah, there's a thousand plus the Here fifty. Score and pass. We win. A tankard of ale for me. All right, so it looks like Manfred is uh is waking up here. A tankard here. Let's see. We don't do that. Would, would you, you let, let us have, have a word? word? In private for a moment. I would not. If I put my guard down for a second, he'll be gone. I have to keep my eye on him. All right, so we can't convince him that um, we have a message from his lord. There's something I'd like to talk about. Let's have a drink. Yes, let's. A man after my own heart. The drink's yeah. on me. Satisfied. And will my guardian angel here join us in imbibing? Please. No, he will not. Perish the thought. My dear, dear lad, what a cross I have to bear. You know, he after the tavern, we it. should pay a visit to some whores. But Manfred won't let me. Get rid of him. Please, bring me something I wish eat. I could. I mean, we could try the, the other option, but it looks like we're going to fail. I've been looking for you two for quite some time. I've been sent by the young lord's father with a message intended Here's only for him. So, I'm just to take you at your word, am I? But where's your seal? You haven't got one. And if you were a messenger, you wouldn't be idling about in this tavern. Get out of my sight, you fraud. All right, so here's what we... Maybe we just keep on you drinking. You must have a mighty thirst. Wait, there's no... So let's... I can see... Okay, so we need to keep on playing dice then. So I will keep on playing. We've already beat him once. We can keep on beating uh, him again. And hopefully he just passes out. That's going to be the ticket. So just one moment, I'll be right back. Old Manfred here seems to have a bit of a strategy. Use your tankard to roll the dice. Well, he can't get drunk if he's spilling his drink all over the dice table. That'll just an observation. A beer. All right, so it looks like this guy has had too much to drink. He may Hi. be leaving here. Yeah, he's Jesus. stumbling Look out of going. the uh, stumbling out of the inn here. Now we can talk to Carl <gasps> in private. I'm talking right. to you, man. Right. Manfred's taken care of, just as you wanted. Thank God. He won't let me out of his sight for a second, and he's itching to get me in the monastery so he can head back home. All right, so why are you being, sent, you to being sent to the monastery? Might be good as a cover story. Like every lusty young lad, I'm fond of fair maidens, but I got too fond of one, and let's just say she was um indisposed for nine months. Oh, uh, got a bragger. They send you to the monastery for that. They do when it's the daughter of the Lord of your feet. Ooh, shit. yeah, shit is putting it mildly. The Lord of Bukova was less than pleased. He knows he'll never marry off his daughter now, so he gave father a choice. Either pay him 1,000 groschen in compensation, along with my balls on a silver platter, or pay 1,000 groschen and put me away somewhere no one will ever see me again. Yeah, the monastery is a good place for that, and why is your guardian why with you, you constantly? Leave your side? So I don't run away. Of course, I'm free to walk around, but he watches every step I take and won't stop until I'm behind the monastery walls. Well, he's not watching you now. What good is that to me when he has all the money and even my saddle and riding cloak under lock and key? All right, why don't you run away? Why don't you just run away? Bear asked, what the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand and the monastic life on the other, I'm afraid the monastery wins. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Steal that old man's pouch. I'd be gone faster than lightning and no one would ever see me again. All right, and what if I entered the what monastery if I instead the of monastery you? Instead of you. What? Voluntarily? You don't look like someone who'd want to spend the rest of his days on his knees praying. But that's your problem. You could only enter the monastery if you know how to read and write. And Luckily, if you have a special writ from the abbot, that's a letter confirming they know who you are and that they've accepted you. So you give me your writ? I'll just tell them I'm you. Manfred has the writ. You'd have to take it from him, but he only puts it down when he sleeps. So I'll steal it and then you can disappear. 
disappear. Bear asked, what the hell would I do? But yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yep, you already said that. Certainly. All right, that is all. That's all then. All right, so we steal the writ. Oh, I know, Henry. Um, go ahead. Oh, uh, eat. There we go. Eat from the pot there. Then we'll head upstairs, which I believe Manfred is a part of. But we'll go ahead and rent the room. That way I'm not locked out. And that way we can Unique. store our stuff up there, do the sneaky, sneaky stealing, and be good to go. All right. For how long? Just the one night, the please. One no I'll problem. be spending tomorrow night in the monastery. Here you go. You like it here. Yeah, sleeping on a cloud it is. Speaking of sleeping on a cloud, we need to choke this guy out, I think. So I think he went upstairs, if this is to be believed. Yes, indeed. All right, so let's go with the... Matter of fact, I think we can sneak a little bit better without our clothes on. So let's go ahead and undo, take off all of our armor. Go ahead and store it in here. Just like so, we're in our PJs. Our noise should be, yeah, we're at a zero noise now. So as long as no one looks up here, we should be okay. Good, he's sleeping. All right, close of the door. We'll go ahead and choke him out. Go to sleep, sleep, sleep. All right, there's the monastery writ, there's Manfred's purse. And he'll never suspect a thing. Good night, Manfred. All right, so that worked out fairly well. I think we can go ahead and give old boy the money so he can head out of here. Hey, Carl. Got the money for you. you wish. Good Excellent. Give me the purse. You can do as you like with the ring. We shall. Here you are. Good luck, no matter what you plan on doing with those monks. Best be on your way now before Manfred finds out that he's been robbed. And what are you going to do? Get my things together and disappear. I want to be as far away as possible before that old man even knows I'm gone. All right, that's the plan. So we do have the writ. We could go ahead on up to the monastery, and I think that's what I would like to do. So let's go ahead and store our stuff here. I'm not gonna store my entire... Let's see, Boreas Key, sure, the Bowman's Brew, the Cuman Ears, okay, the Dagger, the Dora Keys. Okay, so the Groshen, I will store most of it. We'll just get enough to use this in whenever we leave. So we got 5.8 gold, that's fine. Put all of this stuff back away. They're gonna take everything from me, so we might as well. All right, the unicorn horn. I'll go ahead and drink that last savior schnapps. All right, and the bow. All right, so that is all well and good. Let's go ahead and drink our savior schnapps game is safe. Now let's head on over to the monastery. Everything should be awesome. I'll go ahead and put the five gold on the horse because we can always whistle for him. Like so. And then I believe the horse will have the five gold on us so we can rent this room. And uh, yeah, move everything. Awesome. All right, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get to the monastery. We're saved just in case everything uh, goes a bit pear-shaped, like my driving of this horse here. I'm sure they'll want me to... Oh, that's right, I don't... I put my torch away. Well, we'll have to ride in the nighttime just a bit, but that's fine. The guards will be like, hey, you should be carrying a torch, but it doesn't matter because we are heading right over here. I can't believe I haven't found the butcher before. Interesting indeed. But here we go. I am Carl. That's exactly who I am, and I am here to join your holy order, good sir. 
All right, so where exactly is he? Is he upstairs? No. Nope. Hey, hey, brother Porter, wake up. Don't push me in hey, there. What? Oh, damn. Hey, brother Porter. Nope. Is hey. someone there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here to join the monastery. There we go. Come on, brother Porter. There we go. I'm the novice I'm Carl. Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. Yes, tell me about those people. He gave me the papers and left me at the gate. You must be used to that, though. I'm not the first novice here, am I? But that wasn't very considerate of him, was it? No, it wasn't. It's been so hectic here lately, novices arriving one after the other. The last one didn't even have a letter, and you'd think his backside was on fire. The way he kept looking over his shoulder. Yeah, that's you our guy. You the letter. You didn't find that suspicious? My guess is he wanted to hide from someone. But he's a priest and knows how things work in the monastery. So there was nothing to prevent him from being accepted, at least temporarily. You're a different case, though. Are you able to read? Yes, that's I am it. indeed. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then. Are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? Yes, I let's am. do it. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. And I'm not. Inside They're the gate all in my chest. A trunk in which you will find monks' robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. All right, sounds good. So this Are is us serious? then. Strange feeling being without all of that. Damn. I didn't realize how much I've grown used to it. All right, put on the habit, which we did. We're dressed and ready to go. Everything's prepared. And boy, don't we look great. It's time for you to take your vows. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Oh man, I don't like the sound of that. I could not be a Benedictine monk back then, that is for sure. What you looking at, Henry? The sun? Yeah, don't stare in the sun. I imagine the acoustics in this place are pretty good. <clears throat> oh, so those, uh, we have a one in four chance of getting pious correct. Of course, it wouldn't be the one remaining, you know, novice. Us and one other person. And already, the guy that we're standing next to, I'm getting a feeling of, even if I didn't see exactly who Pius was, the fact that he knew if, to tell us exactly where to stand, Brothers he knows Christ, how the church works. We have gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. That's why we're here. Opus Dei, obedientia, obprobria, the service of God, obedience, and endurance of all discomfort. Endurance These of discomfort? These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which you on will this be day uncomfortable, shall and you will endure it. Suscipe me, Domine, secundum eloquium tuum, et vivam. So do all abbots know how to sing? Like, that'd kind of be awkward being an amazing, you know, monk or whatever, and then you get to the top and have to sing, and you can't really sing. 
sing. Like Henry. Suski pe me domine secundum in loquium tum et viva in loquium tum vivam et et non confundas me ab expectatione Ah, uh, uh, there you go. Accept your new name, Brother Gregor, and wear it with honor. Well, not for too awful long, brother. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. All right, so we are now a monk. And now we get to live the life of a monk, which isn't exactly too, uh, too exciting. Game is saved, that is... Welcome, brother. What we I need. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. All right, thanks for prompting me during the ride. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? Let's see... I'm being punished. I'm being punished. If it were up to me, I'd still be spending my days in taverns and my nights with whores. I don't well, envy you. Unfortunately, you're here for the rest of your life. That's what you think. Alright, tell me something about you yourself. tell me something about yourself? How do you know I'm a Latin, novice and I'm sir? here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite unexpected. All right, let's go then. Let's go, let's, then. let's go ahead and tour. Let, let's see Good. this place because I don't intend we do, to be here long. Here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Yeah, make I sure saw to read that. It this evening so you know how things work. Right, we can go now. All right, Follow let's take closely. a look. I'll explain everything as we go. Novice Antonius. Remember one word. Discipline. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own And we're still a little bit needs. drunk. That's kind of, kind of hilarious. All right, we have discovered the monastery. Well, I would like to hope so. We're standing right in it. Oh, geez. He's trying to pass someone that's slow. Brother Librarian. Is that your name? Because, I mean, that, that's kind of crazy that you, you become a librarian and your name is Librarian. This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Uh, I'm over here, guy. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. It takes a bit of getting used to. So it's the old army touching. adage that we do more touching. before most people Warlike, get up. Infuriating. A this is the garden, a place for silent hardship. contemplation and meditation. And murder! Have no respect for Centuries ago, these days. this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night. Punishing any misbehaving novices. So are we talking like a real <laughs> so spirit? Like a ghost? Or are we talking about like uh, someone acting in his name? Here are the uh. fratery and scriptorium. Together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As Seems a novice, dull. you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the circators who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. Are they candy canes? Oh, food. This is the refectory, where we come together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of Saint Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts, expect a swift punishment. But I've already told you about the circuitors. Yes, the cicadas are pretty loud at night. I hear them quite often. Ooh, books. Read a book. 
Yes. The library, the pride of our monastery, a trove of learning. We don't just read books here, we also copy them. You too will learn how. Do I have to? And that's all. Today you are still free from duty, but tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We will be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Sound good? Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. All right. I could probably jumpstart this thing by telling him about the search for Pius. Let's tell. Will you tell let's me let's just be uh, be There's straight and narrow for now. I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novices that did. Because you I might be the are only wanted one. for murder! The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. Or in jail. All right, lockpicks, yeah. It occurred to me you might be the man to ask. I'm looking for some lockpicks. Do you know anyone in the monastery who could help me? Lockpicks? You surprised me, brother. And you, a nobleman's son. But you could ask Brother Solarius. They say he used to be a thief. Brother Solarius. All right, useful thing. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Oh, jeez. Are there rifts Are between there the brothers rifts might be something to know. Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. I've been here for ten minutes, dude. Tell me something about electing the abbot. Yes, Henry, because you're going abbot to Peter elect the old. abbot. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevlas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevlas is definitely the right man. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. All right. So why are we even talking about... All right, we'll end well, that. All. Thank you for I may time, spend some time it. reading here because we might as well. That'll improve a reading skill. But that's our boy right there. That is Pius. And I just need to figure out... Yeah, we have no lockpicks. So we need to talk to Brother Calac Cal Calico Cat. And you're just a regular old monk. A very hard lock. Forbidden books Don't even look at the cabinet. It what forbidden, forbidden books? books? Henry, you know things I don't know. All right, so I'll just uh, peruse around here, get, get a lay of the land, and be right back with you when something interesting happens. It looks like I found a little monastic treasure trove. I wonder who stuffed that here. Yeah, so this out-of-place looking uh, stone here just behind the barracks uh, had some interesting things, uh, such as an ornamented dagger. We have the, um, let's see, what other stuff did we have here? Let's see, there were two bandages. Oh, and 200 gold. So definitely can't argue with that for sure. Now what we can do is I think we can just uh, stealth old brother Antonius and get out of here quick, fast, and in a hurry as this isn't exactly my cup of tea. But we don't have a way out. So what we need to do is go talk and find old brother, um, shoot, what's his name? Let's see, get to know the others, the stash, killing the pious. There was one about getting lockpicks, I believe. Kill pious, find out which one is novice, we have Fritz, pestilence, Find out Matthew and Fritz while well, we are out of the way there. Brother Calarius, yeah, brother, brother cell phone you. here. What troubles me is I don't have a lockpick. I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? I need to get lockpicks. I'm looking for lockpicks. Lockpicks? And what would you like those for? I need to practice uh, opening I'd the like locks. I'd like to practice opening locks, just for the fun of it. Just for fun. 
Pull the other one, brother. It's got bells on. In a way, you're barking up the wrong tree. I can't. No, help I you. beat you in the skill check. No, 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 brother. Cell phone. I need you? your lock picks. I'm looking for. And what? I told you. I'm looking for lock pick. All right, buddy. What's it to what's you? What's it to you? Do you have some or not? Peace, brother. There's no need to get all worked up. Oh, yeah, I thought so. You so. heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lock picks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lock picks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? All right, so get you food, but um, actually, good sir, I've got some money. And let's see if we can talk him down a bit. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Yes, we'll try it. Uh, 90. Save 10. What do you say to this? Well, now, a little more and we'll shake on it. All right, you come down to 95? Sounds good. Oh, that's a decent price. Sweet. Pay more attention, brother. I'll pay more attention. All right, so in order to keep up with the Joneses here, reading these everyday labors, 3 a.m. is the start of the day. Okay, so what I want to do is kind of sleep until like midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, just before the before everyone wakes up, and see if I can find Antonius, and then I can uh, try to get out of here. Oh, we can stealth kill him. And good night. All right, so Pius is dead. There's the strange die we were supposed to get. Now let's get out of here. Kill a different novice, huh? Oh, just in case we killed uh, somebody else? All right, so we completed that quest. I don't know if we'll be able to go right out the front door, but we do have those lock picks. So let's get out of here before anyone notices. I just happen to be up early, good sir. Um, it's awful dark. I can't really see where I'm going here. Go to the agreed place. We shall. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of, um... A lot of things fail on us here. Alright, so... I doubt the front door will be open, but we'll give it a try. Nope. Alright. Let me see if I can get out of here. Lock is too difficult, a very hard lock, of course. I may be in a bad way. But if someone comes to investigate, that'll open some doors, right? How come everything is very hard? Alright, let me see if I can get out of here in some fashion. You there! Stop! Mm. Hey, you! Enough! Don't move Please. a muscle! What? I All right. You, you've no business here. Now you're for it. Yes, indeed. Take That's me to jail, all, please. Don't What's you that? worry. We'll be taking all your other crimes into account, too. What are those? It's jail for you, and I hope you rot there. All right, so don't fool with me. Maybe that'll What's work. That? I won't put up with any more of this. Keep it up, and you'll rue the day you cross me. Oh, no, that was the wrong right. thing to say. I've gone all weak at the knees. Yeah, we're not very intimidating being, uh... Jail? All right, let's go and get it over with quick. Just the accommodation for you. Get moving. Give me all the things you stole so I can return them to their rightful owners. Hopefully he keeps the, uh... He lets me have the strange die. All right, so five days in jail, not bad. However, if we do not get let out of... Um, Sasau, if we're like jailed in the monastery, that just gonna add insult to injury. So I will be right back.
Ah, free at last, free at last. We got out of the jail, we should be here in Sasau. And if uh, memory serves, there's our horse. I believe we have on our horse the 5.8 Groshen that we need to do to rent a room, and then we can go grab our stuff. Yes, good to see you two pebbles. So we may be a convicted convict, but you know what? We paid our debt to society, and everything is awesome. Plus, we got to see the jail, so not too awful bad. We discovered a beehive. I think that trip to jail was worth it. Now, I know there's a way that you could get a uh, pious uh, sort of escape from prison by staging his death, and oh, you, you escape with him, and then you have a chance to actually turn him in. But I am not going to stay in that monastery any longer than I have to for YouTube's sake. I want to get out. I want to do the, the main quests. I want to enjoy the game, and I do not want to be stuck inside a monastery. So, oh, can we cross here? I think we passed our, uh, our crossing. It kind of looks like a road. Fishing dock. I can't go any oh. further. The current the could me to my death. But at any rate, yeah, if I was playing this alone, I might have spent some uh, extra time in the monastery walking around, absorbing the the history and the life of a monk, uh, doing some investigatory journalism, all that other good stuff. Quite frankly, I can't be bothered. So I did the quest the quickest way I knew how. And now that we are ready to go, Hopefully the innkeeper will let us rent a room, and hopefully that stuff wasn't stored, you know, in the Aren't in the cloister, because that would definitely here? be bad. Hey, innkeeper. Well, tell you what, we could do with some breakfast probably. First good meal, and uh, I'll wait for the innkeeper get my stuff back, and then we will uh, go ahead and call it an episode. But that is going to do it for me. And this episode, ladies and gentlemen of Kingdom Come Deliverance, next episode we are going to meet with the crimps at the Agreed Swamp in Sasau. But, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Kingdom Come Deliverance video. Take care.